Okay, so now let's talk at the fun part and of uh, what happens when we power on the system with a Raspberry Pi and a Caribulite. Uh, first thing is the LED indicators on the board. We got a few LED indicators. Here we got the uh, power uh, indicators. The right side is 5 volt LED, the input power from Raspberry Pi. And on the left we got the 3.3 volts LED that is derived from the 5 volts by an RF LDO that is on the Caribou board. We got here uh, two user uh, LEDs so you can blink them you can use them as needed uh, there is an API that controls them from the Raspberry Pi and you can also use it they are directly uh, routed to the FPGA so you can use it in your application as needed there are a, a four LEDs over here these LEDs are routed directly to the modem and they indicate for uh, both channels uh, there, uh, the, the channels activity, for example, either they are RXing or they are TXing or they are idle. And as you can see here, there are four LEDs, two, po two LEDs for the 6 GHz channel and two LEDs for the uh, uh, sub 1 GHz channel. So you will see it in your demonstration that once we start a streaming RX IQ information uh, to the Raspberry Pi, one of the LEDs, the RX LED, will start to to um, to be powered. There is also a button here. This button is dual dual um, uh, purpose button. In production, this button is used in order to um, to uh, uh, flash the internal EEPROM. We'll talk about it afterwards. Uh, but in a, a, a common operation, you can use this button for, for whatever you need. It is, um, it is um, directed, directly routed into the FPGA and the FPGA can generate a, um, a, an interrupt to the Raspberry Pi once this button is pushed. So you can use it for a, for example, for an, a PTT or for some kind of synchronization or uh, for starting a um, kind of uh, measurement. Uh, it's up to you and it's uh, completely application dependent. Uh, we just gave it an application a function, a, an API in, a, and a function inside our API so that you can use it easily. Uh, that's it for this. So now let's look at the software side and the Linux integration of Caribulite inside Raspbian and the Linux kernel. So uh, an overview about it. Um, Linux, once it is uh, booting, it checks Linux on Raspberry Pi, checks which kind of hat or an add-on board is connected to it. It checks it by the I squared C lines that are reading information from the EEPROM that should be on each certified uh, add-on board. And this EEPROM contains uh, some a few bits of information that are, for example, uh, which vendor is it, uh, which kind of product is it, uh, the version of the product. Uh, it also contains the device tree that instructs Linux uh, on which uh, module or driver it needs to load to work with this hardware. And we also add to this EEPROM our proprietary information, that is the calibration information for IQ balance, uh, imbalance uh, calibration, and so on. Uh, let's start with the terminal here and see uh, which kind of drivers we have. We need to check that the SMI drivers, we don't need it, okay? So you can you can be sure that uh, once you connect the Caribou, the Raspberry Pi will uh, load these drivers, but we want to see how it works. So let's see LS mode. Uh, LS mode tells you which kind of drivers are loaded currently in your system. Uh, let's check where are the, let's search for SMI. SMI is the, seri uh, the uh, secondary memory interface that uh, transmits the IQ sample data back and forth from the Raspberry Pi 
to the uh, Carigulite. So, okay, you got two SMI drivers that are inside the system. Good. That means that we can talk with the Raspberry, with the Caribou light. Now, clear. Let's go to the hat configuration. So, for to do that, we go and change the directory to slash proc slash and device tree, device tree, uh, hat. Let's see what's going on here. What we got here are a few virtual files. Let's read them. Cat. Um, products. Okay, we see here Caribou Light, Raspberry Pi Hat, and then Cat Vendor. Okay, so you got here the Caribou Apps.co, and the most important thing is the Cat UUID, oops, which is a 128 bit unique ID of a board. And this unique ID is important for APIs like SOAP API to determine the serial number of the board and to work with it to identify it. Uh, other files are here, version information, ID information, and through this information, the uh, drivers in the Raspberry Pi can identify which kind of board is it, which kind of version it is, uh, and the configuration file of the resistors and so on and so forth. Other uh, configurations are inside the EEPROM that are proprietary information from uh, our side. Uh, as I said before, uh, the calibration, for example, the IQ imbalance calibration is inside the Raspberry inside the EEPROM so that the um, um, so that the uh, um, Caribou light will perform at its best. And uh, that's it for this part of this tutorial.